You know what this is, this film that I'm about to review? It is The Lord of the Rings of Shark Films. And you may ask why? Ping! Shark Swarm. Now, let me tell you a little story. Back in 2008, I was visiting family up in New York, and I had my dad try to tape Shark Swarm. Well, he put it on f for an hour and a half, and he's like, yeah, that'll do. And, lo and behold, this film is double that time. So I never got to see it until it was released on DVD. Then I went home after I bought the DVD and watched the longest shark film ever. And I liked it. Don't let this movie's runtime fool you. It is fast-paced and very entertaining. John Schneider plays a family man in this film, much like Brad Pitt did in World War Z. Stupid role model. Anyways, John Schneider in this film plays it out really well. He acts like he's fighting for a cause. The cause is to try to stop this corporate asshole from buying out the town. But the corporate asshole has something else planned up his sleeve. He has been dumping sludge and toxic waste into the water, and it's been making sea life die. But except for the sharks, who have been eating the dead sea life, or infected sea life, and have become very, very hungry. Thus we get a shark swarm, just like the title. Now, this film has pretty good acting all around, and even John Schneider plays it out well. The music score in this film is very memorable. What? I have to prove it? Da -da -da! There's your sample. You know what? This is one of the last all-around serious shark films that have come out, and it's just, it's a great time. For two hours and 45 minutes. Overall, I give Shark Swarm a 3.5 out of 5. Even though this film is almost three hours long, it still has the brains to so provide you with a kill every five, ten minutes. I am Brian Gatto, host of Horror Show Movie Reviews. Make sure to like my Facebook page in the description below, and to leave comments and subscribe.